Some people are not going to like this video. Some people are going to get quite upset with me. This is a fully functional Lowry organ, and I'm about to disassemble it. And I'm not going to put it back together. What I'm going to do is take the bass pedal section and upcycle it into a standalone instrument. That's today's project. We'll begin by opening the back and seeing what's inside. Judging by the fact that there are screws missing, I'm thinking somebody's been into it before. This thing here's a tremolo unit, and that can be made into a separate instrument of its own also. Judging by the fact that this is suspended by felt, I would say that this is probably an analog reverb, which is nothing but a couple of springs inside with an input and an output. On a nice piano, this key would be ebony, but on this, it's uh, just some mystery white wood with a plastic cover. So I'm not going to even try to do anything with this. Okay, so I got this unit out. So what we have down in there is there's a speaker on the other side of that pulley and it blasts music or it blasts sound down into this cone and this cone rotates. It's driven off this motor over here. As this port rolls around it creates uh, various Doppler effects on the sound. Now I don't think this side has anything to do with the sound that it makes. I think it's just shaped this way to balance the wheel because the business end of this thing is right there. So I'm going to make this into a standalone accessory that some musician is going to want and buy. Now I'm finally down to the pedals, which is the reason I started this project to begin with. Okay. There's the pedal unit. Now the rest of this is just so much wood, but I'm going to probably use some of this wood to make the case for the tremolo unit. So there were various companies that made these tremolo units. This one is one of the more famous ones. It's a Leslie. And uh, uh, the company, the organ company that made that organ, they just bought this and uh, installed it into their organ. And uh, because of that, it's easy to just remove it and install it into a box. Now this effect could be accomplished today with an electronic box the size of a deck of cards. But some musicians out there are purists and they want one of these. And that's what I'm banking on. So here, uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug this thing in and watch it work. Even test it with some sounds. Now we'll show you how it works. I wired it up to my iPod. There's, there's a speaker in there that's just a plain old speaker. So I wired it up to my iPod and... Uh, We'll play some music through it, and uh, now we'll turn the tremolo unit on. Now I suspect that is probably not coming across on the video very well, because I do record in stereo, but both microphones are five feet away from me. Um, but here, I can hear there is a definite motion of the sound. Okay, I've given it some thought. I'm going to leave this side pretty much the way it is. I'm going to leave the instructions right there exposed so people can see them. I am going to cover up this uh, triangle corner and I'm going to make a trap door to cover up the, uh, the gear. But I want that easily accessible in case someone wants to tension the belt on the thing. Now one thing I'm going to do is reuse some stuff off the organ case. This is the side of the case and this hole is where this used to project its sound from anyway. So I'm just going to shorten this up and make it this edge of the box. Now one thing I'm having to do is put furring strips all over the place because as you can see this box is not square.
Okay, this is coming together pretty good. What I'm going to use for the side cover is what used to be the back of the organ, and it's this uh, tempered hardboard with this wood grain finish on it. And that doesn't really matter because I'm going to be painting over it anyway. But uh, yeah, that'll be the cover on this edge. I need a bottom on it, then I'll put some feet on there. Uh, the last thing to do will be to wire it up. And since the spacing is right to use these vent holes, I think I'm going to go ahead and incorporate two sets of those into the design. Okay, so what I'm going to do to interface to the outside world is I put an RCA jack here in the uh, bottom corner of the cabinet and uh, we'll just solder that into the input wiring. I think I'm going to install this standard computer style power cord interface um, to get the power into the cabinet and as far as switching I'm just going to use a couple of toggle switches, one for high, one for low. Now it's all together, let's test it out. Okay, we we'll turn it on. Well this part of the build turned out really great and I couldn't be happier with this. The bass pedal section I'm going to have to push to another day because the amplifier of that thing appears to be in a couple of different sections. You've got the amplifier in one section, uh, the power supply in another, the synthesizer in yet another, and they're all tied in with other voices that the organ had. Um, I did save the pedal keyboard, you know, the, the pedals themselves. But what I'm going to do on those is I'm going to uh, build a synthesizer unit with its own amplifier and put the whole thing in a box. And that will be a standalone instrument that will also be another video. That's all for this week. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.